Welcome back everybody. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your player character to move uh, uh, using the tiles. Um, this is the tanker game that I uh, made in the last video, um, but uh, I'll just show you how to make the movement for now. Uh, so let's get straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is just create a blank scene. Okay, so we've got this blank scene and uh, I'm going to do this differently than it, what it is in the um, in the tanker game, but I am going to show you how it works. Uh, so basically, I'll explain it first. You just what we're doing is locking off the player movement with the arrow keys and remapping them to move the player ourselves, so that it's uh, you know so that we are in control of the player movement rather than GB Studio doing it for us. So first we we want to do is attach uh, a script to button, and then we can choose the left button. We can rename it to left. Um, and then I guess what we can do is move relative, and we just have minus one. Well, actually, we'll put minus two. So uh, if the player character is sixteen, um, is uh, yeah, 16 by 16, then that's two tiles wide. So if you want to move the player the same amount that they are wide, um, then you want minus two uh, on the x-axis. We'll copy this. We can put it to the right and rename and call it right. And we can do two rather than minus two. And then we can do up. And uh, actually, you really need to make sure that you use collisions, because if you're going to have collisions in your game, then, then that's, a, that's an important part. Okay, so up, we don't want 2 on there, we want minus 2 on the y-axis. And then on down. We can have the down arrow. And we can put 2 make sure collisions are ticked. I'll put this to vertical first, just since we're moving vertical. And now if we try this out, I'll put the start to this scene. Okay, so here we are. The player moves two every time. And if you hold it down, it doesn't keep moving. You have to press it singularly, um, which is definitely what you want for certain games. Um, so my advice with this is when you make your collision in your level, I'll show you, uh, you want to make sure that you you keep all the collision boxes. Oh, there's still some collision here. Um, you want to make sure that the, the path that the player moves on is always two by two. So if we start here, uh, then two. So yeah, so we want to uh, keep everything in twos. And so this level that I've made sh might not work because uh, I didn't make it for two, two by two movement. So I would want to move this this rotor here up or down by one because uh, if I if I if the player moves two, then they go here, 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 and then here or here. If you block it off by one, then the player will only move to that spot. And then they'll be off of the grid that you've made by one. Um, so yeah, you you definitely need to keep that in mind if you're making a, uh, you know, if the game that you have has collision, that it's all separated by two, uh, by two. If you're moving two by two, you can obviously change this all to, to to minus one, one, you know, minus one and one to make it move by half of the player's size, which I was doing in the tanker game. Um, but now I've thought about it, I might change the movement because it kind of, it kind of moves faster with the, with the two, and I feel like it might have a better style. But yeah, so I hope that helps you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.